Hello, hello, and welcome back to Hitman. And in this series, we are, will go back to where it all started. And this time round, we will focus on completing as many of the challenges as we can on each and every one of the primary Hitman targets. With maybe a few interesting bonus kills on the way. Today we are in Dubai for the Conserving Ammunition Challenge which entails eliminating both of our targets with a single bullet from a sniping rifle. So for today's challenge the only items we will need to be bringing with us will be our ever trusty lockpick and a silenced penetrating sniper rifle in a briefcase. Everything else is available on the map and with that said, let's get reacquainted with our targets. Destination is the Scepter. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth generation old money. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War. So, right from the start and off the bat, we need to make our way to the penthouse at the top of the building. Uh, we're gonna stop off along the way, pick up a couple of changes of disguise and arrange for the two targets to be in the same room, otherwise their paths te uh, technically, I believe, do not cross. So we're gonna make our way up into the atrium around to our right and up behind the black and gold bar if the barmaid has her back to you. Just gonna use the kegs for cover until the server in this area has his back to us, at which point we can render him unconscious. We're gonna hide his body in the closet provided. There you go, sir, you've worked very, very hard. Take five minutes off. We're going to take his outfit, retrieve our silent sniping rifle and we're going to make our way now out of the room and up the stairs to the tech area above the art installation. So just up the stairs through the doors, around to the far end and we're going to vault over the scaffolding here on the far side and we're just going to wait here by this balcony to the next floor. As you can see, there is a guard right there. Now, I'm not sure how long he's going to be stood there for. It turns out not very long. So we're just going to wait for him to go through his routine. Uh, he will stop over here, lean against the wall and play with his phone. And then he will go back to his original position. And it's at that point we are going to take the opportunity to render him unconscious and relieve him of his uniform. So he's gonna make his way back over now. We're gonna vault up onto the balcony or the floor above, render him unconscious. There we go. We're gonna hide his body in the storage room just around to our left. There is a gentleman in this room, but if we are quiet, he will not turn round. So we can deposit our guard in the closet provided take his outfit and we can now go and retrieve our sniping rifle once again and make our way into the uh, corridor just to our right here now we need a key card and this maintenance worker right here has that key card so we're going to render him unconscious hide his body in the closet provided collect up the key card that he drops I would like to address the Providence partners directly. I want them to know why this is happening. Right you are, Lucas. So, once we have the keycard and our sniping rifle, we're going to make our way into the server room, where a keycard terminal has magically appeared. We're going to slide the keycard in the terminal, and now we're looking at the monitors around the room, for one that's displaying an error message and the message will be in yellow all the others are in green we can then approach the console and we're just, first of all we're just going to make someone's day by making all the vending machines spew out bars of gold 
We're then going to turn off the cameras and then update the meeting. And that will get both of our targets heading into the same area. And that area will be the penthouse. So we're going to make our way up to the penthouse now by lockpicking our way up the stairs. And we're going to make our way into the big TV space area which is right at the end of the corridor. Now there is one patrolling enforcer in this area. So we are going to hide behind the big TV unit here. And we're just gonna wait for everyone to turn up. Just a minor setback. We guards, leave us. We need to talk privately for a moment. So once Marcus arrives, Carl will dismiss all of the guards and we are going to vacate the area until Lucas Gray speaks and then we're going to run back inside. The partners are alone now. I'll activate the panel controlling the room and security features. When you're ready, use it to start the show. So once we've ducked back inside, we are going to retrieve our sniping rifle from the briefcase, trigger the lockdown mechanism, and make our way to the right of the bar where our two targets will line up, and we can take them both out. Well done, I guess. Finally, Stuyvesant and Ingram are gone. Providence will soon be no more than a bad memory. So that will get you the conserving ammunition challenge. All that's left for us to do is to tidy up the mess. Now, unfortunately, Carl seems to have got himself lodged on a table. So we're going to have to move him out of the way so that we can pick him up. Come on, get off of there. Where, where'd you go? Are you a magician? Where'd you go? Ah, there you are, over there. How did you get all the way over there? So once we have Mr. Ingram here safely stored away, we can put away our sniping rifle. There we go. Retrieve the briefcase, open the shutters and make good our escape. And the nearest available exit will be the parachute exit for which we can't take the sniping rifle with us. So I don't know why I bothered to keep it. But there we go, one more contract taken care of, or one more challenge taken care of. I have been Anubis, and I will see you all in the next video.